All right, guys, fresh in from eBay. This is the On Guard Bulldog AD, ATB model 8011. 45 bucks, I got it uh, off of eBay. Um, this is a slider lock, and I'm gonna take our new fiber optic camera and kind of look in there and show you, but basically there are four sliders on the top left and four sliders on the top right. I do have a key for this. It's inside of here. We'll get to it. In fact, I think you can start to look in there and see it, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to pick our way into this thing. Um, the odd thing about this, though, is their security rating. They give this thing a 63 out of a scale of, I guess that would be 0 to 100. 63, that's, what a weird number. Why not 60 or 70? Why 63? What? Oh, well, what I'm going to do, uh, I am going to clamp this in the vise. It's kind of, as you can see, kind of bulky. So it'd be a little bit easier to keep things, I think, in focus if I put it inside of the vise and try to pick it kind of like that. I'm going to give you a quick look into that keyway. You can see the sliders are on the top. Just see the light reflecting off of them on the left and right there. So what I'm going to do here is get this really clamped down tight and try to keep that centered so it stays focused. I'm going to use bottom of the keyway because there's nothing on the bottom that I that I need to get at and I'm going to use uh, lock picking lawyers super tensioning technique I'm just going to reach my finger underneath here and pull down and you're going to see I'm really going to leave a dent in that finger it's almost painful so when he says heavy heavy tension his definition is like super tension in order to manipulate those eight sliders I'm going to use this little guy the uh, euro hybrid from sparrows I'm going to try to get the ones on the left and then probably alternate back and forth. So let's try it. So heavy tension. And what will happen is it, I, I, I have always used gentle tension on locks. I found that with heavy tension on these sliders, it makes them bind. And there I am on number two on the left. And the thing though about really heavy tension is you really got to pay attention to the feedback. You will get counter rotation, and that will tell you that's the one that wants to be picked. Okay, that was three. Three again. There are false gates on this, but the real gates are a little wider, feels like. Okay, I just touched pin one and pushed him down, and I felt a little turn on the core there. So I've already gotten two and three, and four is really bound and he's not giving any counter rotation on this at all and my fingers already turning really white there but I'm gonna try the ones on the right now see if I can find a binder that was three I do have a little fault set on the core. It's turned a little bit for me. Oh. Maybe not tight enough. Okay, I'll try to keep that centered. Let me turn the camera down a little bit. This camera is really sensitive. Things have to be precisely in the middle of the screen. There we go. To stay focused. And I did that just in time to get the open. And there you go. The On Guard... 8011 Bulldog ATB. Get this out of here. And hopefully, now that I got this off, we can actually get the keys out. Well, maybe not. They're tied down, but there is what your key looks like. And it's identical on both sides. You got keys, key card, all kinds of cool stuff in there. But we don't need it because this was so easy to pick. I'm starting to understand now how they arrived at 63, and I think what they mean is it's a, they give it a 60 for physical toughness of the U-bolt here, and maybe the outer casing of the, of the housing, and then the extra three points is for the marshmallow core, so 60 plus 3, 63, there you go. Bulldog ATP 8011 U-lock. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.
Each of these videos takes four to six hours to record, edit, and publish, so I'd really appreciate it if you show your support by subscribing and clicking on the like button. Thanks, guys.